you learn to, to understand um, these animals and, and then, you know, you'll know when to approach and when not. And so began my initiation into alligator nesting season. This expedition, led by researcher Sonny Bass, takes me deep into the Florida Everglades, and I mean deep. Our mission, find alligator nests, count eggs, avoid confrontation. We tend to look at them as, as a threat, and, um, and they, they can be a threat to humans. It just depends on, you know, if you're invading their, their space and you're there, yeah, I mean, then they're going to protect themselves and they're going to defend themselves. Words to remember as we reach our destination, accessible only by helicopter. Researchers first scan the park by air looking for alligator nests, then mark the coordinates. The accuracy of this year's egg count is even more critical with Everglades restoration becoming more of a reality. We slowly make our way through the aptly named razor sharp sawgrass toward a nest. The water is waist high and below the surface, muck. We can't see into the water around our legs, and that's when I unnervingly remember we are uninvited guests in gator territory. As we approach the, the nest, we just want to be cautious to, you know, to see if the female's there. She isn't, for now, and we move forward. The nest itself is made of vegetation the gator has piled together. We want to open it up, count the number of eggs. You know, the, the purpose behind this is alligators are uh, what are viewed as keystone or indicator species of the health of of the Everglades. And they're a top predator in this system and depending upon how well they do, you can judge how well the system's doing. And with what you've seen this season, how well are they doing? Uh, this year it was down. Then in the middle of my biology lesson, we spot her, Mama Gator, 12, maybe 15 feet away, and she is not happy. She's weighing her options right now. It's either, you know, protect herself or protect the nest. And uh, I'm kind of guessing, and here she comes. With the nest open and the delicate eggs laid out, we must keep the gator at bay to finish the count. But mom is getting impatient. Let's, let's do it quickly because I don't know what she'll do. Outnumbered four to one, this time the gator lets us finish our work. She may not like it, but data collected here will ultimately help this often misunderstood creature survive. Scientists say drought conditions throughout 2001 led to a below average nesting season for alligators, but they're hoping that the $7.8 billion Everglades restoration project will eventually help the flow of water back into the Everglades and ultimately help the alligator. Back to you.